Hello everyone, my name is Teo Salvador. Welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. If you missed last episode, we connected the town of Solemn to the outside world. Uh, we also built some other train track, I think, over here. We connected Lansing to Wilmington. Um, and we did a couple other things. Now, off screen, I was taking a look at our map here. And we're going to do a couple things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to work with the farm here in Tulsa. And I'm going to add another train to this line. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to increase the production at the food plant. And I think we can do that with another train. Obviously, we have 30,000. I mean, excuse me, 30 million almost. Um, so I think that this could be something we can do. Um, I want to increase production at the food plant so that we can start bringing food to Wilmington and Lansing and hopefully in the future Downey. Um, however, Downey also takes uh, machine parts, right? That's, uh, is that just machines? Machines. Uh, Downey takes machines and that means that we need to start increasing production here um, because, anyways, as I was saying, I think we need to increase production here at the machine plant because I don't think that this machine plant is going to be able to uh, satisfy both Fort Collins and Downey um, just because they're not producing enough. So we're going to have to play with this uh, coal and iron line probably in the next episode. Maybe I will get another train running. Um, we will see. But first off, we're going to start working with the uh, farm. And we have one train on it right now. The train is working okay. Something I might do is... I might... Excuse me, motorcycles outside. The frick... Some really loud motorcycles outside. Anyways, what I was saying... Um, I might toy around with a DPU. Now, that's something that probably won't be realistic. But do you see how slow this train's moving? I mean, I guess it's going 40 kilometers an hour. Little over. Um... Right now, the farm has 235. Ah, maybe I won't bother. Okay, okay. You know, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's just start building. First thing I'm going to build is a track. Uh, once the game auto saves, we're going to build a track like this. I'm going to bring the track up here. And we will end the track just about here. There we go. And I'm going to put some signals. Uh, signal right there will do. Signal right there will do. There we go. And did I? Ooh, I never, I never signaled this. Okay, I guess I'll signal that that now then. Okay. One thing I was thinking of is maybe we should do away with the truck route. Uh, we have old-fashioned lorries here, um, powered by uh, animals on legs. Um, and I was thinking, maybe it'd be more efficient to build a train line going from Tulsa to Tulsa, instead of having the horses. Now, I mean, if we look at the money, let's just look at the train line here. I, I, I say train line. Uh, let's look at... What did I name it? Passenger... What did I name this? Truck. Truck. Um, hold on. This one. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, la 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 la. Truck is currently earning us $69,000. So, it's actually not doing too bad. Um, I, I'm gonna have to fix this. Fort Collins is losing us, excuse me, losing us money. Um, the train is here, and he's moving really slowly. Alright, we'll figure, we'll, okay. You know what, let's do some, let's just, you know what, how about we leave Solemn for another day? I was gonna say, um, I was thinking about connecting Solemn to Downey and trying to work this out because I thought, well, we could go this way around the diamond and connect uh, Downey via the uh, iron mine. Or we could build a direct route from here across the water and uh, kind of like this. How about we work on that in the next episode and we focus on this part of the map? Um, because as of right now, this train, it's, it's, it's a little, it's, it's not powerful enough. Uh, so we so we need to figure out what we're doing here. How many trains are in here? Two of them, really. Ah, okay. Wait a minute. Okay, that that might not be beneficial for. Oh shoot. So we have two of these general locomotives on that train line. Ah, okay, okay. Well, you know what? Whatever. L let's focus on that a little bit later. 
Um, something I'm going to do is, should we, should we be fancy and buy one of these locomotives, or should I stay with the general? I'm inclined to go the cheaper option right now. Um, even though it's a little bit slower, I think, I mean, it's, it's, oh man, it's, it's, it's like a hundred thousand extra. Actually, yeah, no, excuse me, it's half a million extra to purchase it, and it's, it's, it's another a hundred thousand just to maintain it per year. And really, it only goes 15 kilometers faster, but the power rating's pretty good. I'm just gonna go with this one for now, and we're gonna get some, uh, get some freight cars on here. So how many was it? 126, I believe. 126. Let's get a cheeky caboose on here. Uh, caboose. There we go. Buy that. And let's put this on the grain line. Now, what was the grain line? Uh, la, la, la. Uh, would it be nice if I could... Sorry, Mateo obviously doesn't know what he's looking at. It's the red one. Uh, this one? Plank line? No. This one? No. What train line is this? Who are you? Who Who's going to this? Tulsa Food Processing. Sorry, I should have probably seen this. Tulsa Food Processing. There we go. Train. Go and do your walk. Do, do, do your walk? Do your work. So, my hope is that by doing this, we're going to increase production at Tulsa West. Um, okay. I'm going to take this train, and I'm going to sell it. Okay, so now that I have this new train here, we're going to focus on the fuel train um, that's going from the refinery to Wilmington. And I'd like to see how much money this makes us. I'm probably going to sell the train, because as of right now, it took like 30 years just to get from here to here. Uh, which is obviously not beneficial for anybody. Train number five is in terrible condition. Ooh, that sounds bad. Alright, let's just see real quick, how much money does this guy earn us? I I'm kind of curious, because as you can see, 221000 approximately, he's costed us just on this journey alone. Which isn't really too bad, but um, I, I, I think there's better options. So, so let's just see what happens here. We're losing money, which isn't really beneficial. Um, let's just see what happens here. He goes to the far platform. Wow. Okay, he actually didn't earn us that... Wow, actually, that was pretty good. That was that actually wasn't too bad. Um, okay, okay. All right. Okay, I guess that wasn't too bad. You know what? How about we have... What is this guy do? Oh, this is the food train. Never mind. How about we have this train... Let's just have this train work for a little bit. And I want to monitor what it does. Because as of right now, it made us about 600000 in total. Um, obviously, about 200000 of that went to uh, the costs, of course. But, I mean, that wasn't too bad. Let's just see what happens with this. You know, if it's losing us money, then we will obviously... Excuse me, semi-truck. Do you mind? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll just watch this. Watch this and see what happens. There we go. Check it out. It's the it's the old versus the new. Look at how rusty that locomotive is versus the brand new one. All shiny and everything. Very nice. So let's just watch what this tanker train does for now. And one thing I think I'm going to do, because as of right now, what really wouldn't hurt... Uh, would be to get another coal train in. How much coal? Ooh, 318 coal. I really think that getting another coal train and another iron train would be a really good idea. So, how about we do that? How about we do... How about we do... How about we do just that? And honestly, we could just use this locomotive that we built right here. Um, alright, so... I'm gonna buy... Should I? Should I? Should I do that? Should I, should I do that, though? Alright, that guy's going in. Um, yeah, I'm going to, but let me just do a couple more things. Um, obviously, if I have three trains on this line here, that might make it a little bit iffy. Um, so how about... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to double track this. I'm going to literally double track this whole section. Or maybe not. Okay. I, I, have, I have my idea. Um, I'm going to delete signal. I'm going to delete signal. 
and I'm going to double track this. So I'm going to make this like this, because my plan is I'm going to have three trains on both of these lines. And okay, so let's bring it out like this. And if I could do, connect that. And let's change this track here since it's a yard track uh, to one that's full speed. Because obviously, the yard track, um, if we take a look at the yard track, I want to say it's 25 kilometers an hour. Meanwhile, the standard track is 120. Um, so if we're going to double track a section like this, you want to make sure that you don't use yard track. Because then you might not have a great time in the long run. All right, so I'm just going to bring this like this, and I'm going to connect it to here. If I can do. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to demolish that because I don't really need that. That might screw some things up. I think here as well, right? Yes, there we go. So that's going to stay like that. It's going to stay like that. Um, okay. How far does that go? That go... Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Let's expand this track, then. Oh, I gotta demolish the signal. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Mateo gets the hiccups, which is just traditional. Uh, do you mind? Do you, do you mind, game? If I can just, like, connect this. Game. Game. How does that look? I mean, that looks okay. Uh, do you mind? Thank you. Sorry, I don't know why my... What is wrong with this track? Why does that look like that? Okay, you know what? L let me just do some things. For some reason, this track is all crooked. There we go. That is like that. So now this is double track section, which is really nice. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it like that. There we go. And I'm going to connect it like that. So this really opens up some possibilities for us now. Uh, just because of the fact that we can now... Uh, we can have more trains on this just because it's all double tracked. Okay, I'm going to connect one right there. Reckon we put a signal right there. We already have a signal right there. Good. Get another signal right there. There we go. And you know what I realize, right? I'm going to have to replace this at some point. Because later in the game, you know what you end up getting? You end up getting uh, digital... Uh, digital. Yeah, you end up getting, um, like, actual lights. Uh, and and they, they look really cool. Okay, so that's done. Um, did we finish this? We did not finish this. So, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there, that they all. One's going to go right there. Another one's going to go right there. And the last one can stay... Actually, you know what? To be honest, we could probably just expand this. I'm sorry. The game's going to freak out for a second. No, you removed the track. How dare you? You awful human. There we go. And I will put a signal right there. There we go. Awesome. Uh, do you reckon I should have a signal here? I'm going to have a signal here because I feel like it. Okay, there we go. So now that that's done, um, I'm going to get another train in. Now that's 126 capacity. I think that's a good idea. I, I, I think that's a really good idea. Um, so let me buy one. Uh, let me buy a two. And we will get this one onto... What train line is it? This one? This one. There we go. And we're going to get this one on the coal line, which the coal line is that one. There we go. Yay. And so now we have two more trains on the network. And that should hopefully expand production with this. Because, I mean, they're not doing too terribly right now. But, you know, having three trains on this, I think, is going to be a good idea. Uh, just like having two trains on this. Excuse me. Um, just like I think having two trains on this, I think, is going to be a great idea as well. And it wouldn't hurt to upgrade the passenger trains either. I think that would be a good idea. Hmm. Interesting. We have a lot of things we got to work with here. And obviously, I think our trucks are making us good money. Look at that. $5,000. Now, you got to think. That's about 5000 per truck. Um, so, how many vehicles do we have in it? Uh, I don't, I'm not really too sure, to be honest. Uh, uh, oh, we have... Uh, what is this? Hello? Why do why does it say we have a train on this line? <laughs> why does it say we have a train? Oh, it's because I have the depot selected. 
So we have approximately, give or take, 14 locomotives on here. Uh, 14 locomotives. Uh, 14 trucks on there. So you, you got to think we're in actually a pretty good amount of money with this. And we could always expand this. Um, okay. So, all right. Is that the, that's the tanker train. How's the tanker train doing? Tanker train is not doing too bad right now. Okay. Wow, look at that. Toolsaw also takes gears or machine parts. Why is it that the machine parts look like a gear? I, I, I say machine parts because it looks like a gear. Um, but in the game, it, they just call it machines. But I, I, I look at a gear and I think it's a machine part, right? You know, the gear, you know, makes the machine function. It's a, a machine part. Although, according to the game, it's just a machine. Um, so, so yeah. I, I, we got it. We got it. Let me learn how to speak English. We really have to upgrade Solemn here because there's so many places around here that take machine parts. Um, you know, uh, we got three cities here that take machine parts and one factory that's barely producing enough for Fort Collins. So we got to really expedite production here. And that can be done in a couple different ways. Eventually, we want to upgrade this train. Are we going to right now? No, because this factory isn't produ Actually, the factory is producing a nice amount, but it's not producing. Oh, actually, we have two trains already. What is Mateo talking about? We have two trains for this already. Mateo, you're a moron. You already upgraded it. Sorry, I blame it on me being tired. It's 2 o'clock. This video should be out already. I had a headache this morning. The weather's not being great. I have a lot of things to do. You know what I mean? It's just that. It's, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, well, whatever. Whatever. It's it's fine. It's, it's completely fine. Mateo's not dying at all. Let's just see what this does. Something I might do. It, ooh. I mean, look at that. Right now... Man, right now they're barely they're barely holding on as it is. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe I should double track this. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double track this whole section here. Not a bad idea. Alright, I'm gonna bring this out like this. Bring it out like a so. Uh, oops, that's not anything related to what I needed to do. Keep going forward. Thank you. Okay. Shablam and a shabloom. There we go. And I will get signal. I will get signal. Thank you. I say thank you, even though I'm the one that did that. Okay, there we go. Awesome. This, 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 uh, this might help things out, because I'm going to imagine we're going to build another tree. Eh? I was going to say we might build another train, but seeing that one train takes 126, excuse me, I don't think that's a good idea because there's only going to be, like Mateo has the hiccups, there's like only going to be like 40 left over. Uh, 60, 50 something. Sorry, Mateo doesn't know how to do math. Um, Yeah, so I don't know why I'm having the hiccups all of a sudden. <laughs> Mateo's having the hiccups. This is obviously just going wonderfully. Mateo's having hiccups. Life is just great. Um, this place is almost out of food. How much does this take? Oh, four. Okay. And we are officially out of food. The, uh, the processing factory needs more grain, which is fine. There's a grain train currently coming. Everything's good. The passenger train. I'm thinking we should upgrade you. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. Okay. Let, let's take... Oh, my. Oh, my. We, we've got quite a bit of train traffic here, don't we? Okay. There you go. Look at that. Going across the new diamond we built a couple episodes ago. There we go. Nice. Now, I was thinking about doing something here. Um, and for some reason, I wanted to build a diamond here. I was like, ooh, maybe we could connect. Maybe we could connect this place to this. And we build a little cheeky diamond across here. Now, I know what everybody's going to say. They're going to be like, Mateo, you need to stop with your diamonds. Um, I, I know. I really do. But diamonds are cool. I mean, you got to admit, this looks really cool. And imagine, right, if we had trains going around the bends and stuff like that, it would be a real diamond. However, as of right now, these tracks that go out like this are doing absolutely nothing for every anybody. They're, they're doing nothing. Although, 
Don't we have a passenger train going through here? Ah, oh, we do. We have no vehicle on it. We have no vehicle. Oh no, Mateo, what are you doing? Buy a vehicle. <laughs> we have no vehicle on that line. Well, obviously, Mateo, how do you expect passengers to get to point B without a vehicle? Uh, walking. That's how. All right, let's get uh, one train here. We're going to buy it, and we will get it. Uh, what, what color are you? You are bright red, which is super helpful. Uh, this one. There we go. Hey, and now we're going to have a train going around the diamond. So now the diamond will actually be able to do its job. And I got to say, I love the way that these signals are working. It's like one train waits, a train goes by, train waits, train crosses, everything's great and dandy. Our brand new coal train is going in. Look at that. This is efficiency. Because if you, was it the last episode or two episodes ago? Uh, we double track this whole section. Um, because previously, the only section that was double tracked was this. And then this here was single tracked, I think. Actually, I think we had a small siding here. Uh, but from here to about here was single tracked. And our trains are so long that they weren't fitting into the sidings. Which is a modern class one railroad problem nowadays. So I suppose that we're just playing realistically <laughs> at this point. Uh, where are you going? You're going to the steel factory. Do we have three trains on this yet? No. Where's our other train? Uh, no idea. Ah, here he is. Look at that. Efficiency. This guy waits. That guy goes. Cotton Eye Joe. That guy, I don't know where I said that. But anyways. Efficiency. I love this. Where are you going from? Wow. Oh, convenient. Okay. Imagine if the oil train used this track to get here. That that would be a lack of efficiency here. There we go. So now he goes across, and you get that satisfying clankety-clank sound when they go over diamonds, which obviously isn't modeled into this game, but that would be kind of cool. Auto-saving. I, I, okay. Oh, my. Oh, nope, never mind. Sorry, I thought these trains were going nose-to-nose -nose for a second. That would have been really concerning. Um, that would have been very concerning indeed. Okay, how are you doing? You're doing pretty good. Uh, let's build a train line, shall we? I don't want to add a station. I want to build a line. Going from you to you. And this is going to be train to rain. Train Tulsa food line. Excuse me, Wilmington food line. Uh, Mateo can't type. Wilmington food line. I, I, okay, I spell it wrong. I, I spell it wrong. Okay, there we go. Wilmington food line. There we go. Um, so as of right now, we have two passenger trains. Wow. Um, excuse me. Uh, that train line should be named differently. It should be solemn. Sorry, this train, this, this line should be solemn. Uh, it says Tulsa to Wilmington. It should be, um, Sorry, it should be solemn. That that should be solemn to Wilmington. Never mind, sorry. Solemn to Wilmington. Oh, I already wrote that. What the heck? What? Okay, Mateo's... Mateo's... Uh, <laughs> so, oh my god. Mate this is just not going well. This is just not going well. Okay, rename you. You are passenger... And you are going from Solemn uh, to Wilmington. There we go. Sorry, that 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 took way longer than it should have done. <laughs> All right, there we go. And we have our new train coming in, and it's going to be the first train to go around the diamond. I don't know why this is so exciting, but it is exciting. Because we have yet to have a train go around the diamond. And it it's fun. Look at that. It's a very small train, to say the least, but... Look at how... Oh. Nobody wants to go to Wilmington. Nobody wants to go to Wilmington. Uh, sad. Does anybody want to go to... Uh, well, oh, one person wants to go to a uh, Solemn. One person. Ah, interesting. Why are you... Aw. Uh, look at that. This one guy. 
standing here on the platform going to Solemn. Meanwhile, everybody's over here, like, waiting for the busy train to go somewhere else. But I gotta say... I gotta say one thing about this game, is it's very scenic. Like, if you just sit here and you watch trains go by... Like, it's very scenic, if I'm honest. Is that wooden? That is wooden. Ah, interesting. I'm a little curious. Um, later in the game, you end up getting steel tracks. And I'm kind of wondering if it's... See, because I thought that this track here had the steel texture. Uh, because steel tracks are also white. I don't know. That's something we should probably check out later in the series. Who are you? Oh, man, you are losing us money. Look at that. That man is losing us money. This train here is losing us a lot of money. Um, negative 221,000 by the time he gets back here. This is actually the exact price from earlier. So, yep, we gotta upgrade this train. It's time to upgrade. Yep, it's time to upgrade this train. Um, let's send you back to the depot. You're gonna go back to the depot. Thank you. Where are you going? Who are you? Oh, you're the passenger train. Look, oh, he's earning his money as well. That guy's earning his money. Good. Earning us money. Who are you? Oh, you're the steel train. Good. Lumber train. We have more than enough lumber here. And actually, if we look at this, we're actually earning a good amount of... Uh, we actually have a good amount of steel here that we're producing quite a bit. By the time this train gets back, we should have a, quite a bit of steel. Where is the boxcar train? Where are you at? Oh, you're here. You're here because this guy's waiting there? Here we go. Okay, he goes. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to Tulsa. Oh, wow. Mateo, Mate you know what's funny? Two weeks, and Mateo's realizing that he's done, thing done, done things? Done things that he never realized he did. Um, where are you? Why are you doing this? Waiting for free path. Who's in the way? Ah, you're in the way. Man, we should really do... Ugh. Why are you so heavy? Why are you so heavy? That's not fair. Ooh, man, we should really double track this. Hmm. We should really double... Wow, look at all the oil. Jeez, okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna build... Is the train back yet? He's right here. He's right here. All right, let's bring this guy back to the depot, and we're going to get another train running on the fire line. I'm going to say, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call this the fire line because it looks like fire. It's a fuel line. Um, what are you, why are you, because a stupid oil train, like, why don't you just go past him? <laughs> oh, man, you're delaying everybody and their sister. That's not fair. <laughs> okay. Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll just double track this. I'm going to just double track this because obviously uh, nobody knows what they're doing with their lives. And something I'm going to do as well while I'm at it. What are you doing? What are you? Why are you that track? Okay, whatever. Sorry, Mateo's realizing things and he's realizing he's a moron. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Uh, should I really double track all this? I Maybe not. Okay, you know what? For now, let's just do this. I'm, I'm not going to bother double-tracking this whole thing. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, Yeah, I said I was going to double-track this, and we're just going to double-track this. There we go. <gasps> Mateo has the hiccups. Sorry. I, you know, I heard a noise outside, and then my dog started barking, and it just turned out to be a great moment. Ah, yeah. Turns out it was just the electric company reading a meter, so that's fine. And my German Shepherd was going crazy about it, even though I was standing behind him. Awesome. Blah. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Um, so what was I talking about? I was talking about this train being in the way and all this great stuff. So, at least, you know what it is. At least having the double track section here, we can do lights, right? Because I always feel like having lights on a single track section, right? If you have, let's say, for example, a single track section, you always run into this issue, right? Where if... Oh, and now the small dog's barking. How awesome. <laughs> uh, if you... Okay. So, it, you know, if you have signals, right? And you, you, you try to single, uh, uh, do you mind? And you try to do something like this. You sometimes run into issues where trains might go nose to nose. 
Why is my dog barking? She just... I don't know what she's... I don't know what she's barking at. She hears me talking. That's probably what it is. What are you? You are Fort Collin. Why are you going that way? Why are you going that way? What are you doing? What is this guy doing? What the heck is this guy? Why was he... That's weird. I don't know what this train was doing. Was... Excuse me? That's weird. You stop. You unload your fuel, and you keep going. There we go. I don't know why he went past. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I my, I don't know what she was barking at. She's sitting on the couch, my dog. And she was just barking at the wall. I don't get it. She's weird like that. But anyway, so um, I was taking a look here. The boxcar train with the machine, ma uh, machines uh, just stopped at the train station here. And there's 13 left over, which means that if we were to have two of these trains... Uh, two trains of 28 machines, one going to Fort Collins, one going to Dowie. Uh, Dowie? Downey. Um, they wouldn't, it wouldn't be able to satisfy both places. So this is, this is a good thing that we are hopefully going to be expanding our route. Look at how many trains we got here. Jeez Louise. It's like constant, uh, constant deliveries. Got one coal train coming in. We got a, uh, an iron train coming in. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Although this guy is moving really slow. I don't get it. Why are you moving very slow? Is it because... Wow, there's a mad hill here. Is, is that why you're moving so slowly? Ah, eh, whatever. Okay, well, anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we got more things we got to do. Look at the amount of food that's waiting here. Wow. And we have two trains running on the grain line now, which is just great. And we're going to expand this in the later... Uh, la la in the later episode and hopefully do a couple other things but until then thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe Schleider, peace